your local weather authority forecast. Skies are mostly clear of clouds this morning in Natal City, but things may change. And not only in Natal City, but also in Odessa this morning. This is a live look at Odessa early on your Friday morning. Still dark out there, where before sunrise, that's why we're seeing the black and white colors. We're under night vision. We can clearly see the Bank of America Tower, the Prosperity Bank Tower, right alongside it. Dark skies indicating very clear skies for now, but things are likely to change later today. Satellite and radar showing that weather pattern change. This elongated area of clouds is a frontal boundary sagging not only southward but a little bit farther eastward closer to the northern eastern parts of the basin monsoonal moisture riding up along this frontal boundary producing some leftover clouds after the monsoonal thunderstorms did form in parts of our viewing area yesterday in places like Carlsbad, Van Horn, Marfa and Alpine where they did see quite a bit of rainfall and as a result Conditions were a bit cooler compared to the rest of the basin, but because I think that frontal boundary moving south and eastward, it will be a little bit hotter in those areas from, again, Carlsbad, Van Horn, Marfa Alpine, until like heat dust in the Big Bend region. Heat advisory in effect till 8 p.m. Mountain Time, 9 p.m. Central Time temperatures in the high 90s and triple digits. In the Rio Grande temperatures, potentially above 110. Make sure you guys stay hydrated and stay cool and safe out there. All courtesy of those southerly winds. Pretty light right now. It's 7 miles per hour in Tulsa. A little bit more breezy in Fort Stockton. Southerly and even a little bit of the easterly trajectory in those winds bringing in the heat up this afternoon, but also the lingering moisture in the atmosphere. Mostly clear skies, 79 right now in the Tulsa City. The sun rises officially at 7.06 a.m., so a little bit of a later sunrise. Days are getting shorter, but temperatures remaining above normal as we're a little bit humid this morning, 54% relative humidity. Mostly clear skies to start. Most areas in the 70s, a little bit cooler there in Marfa in the upper 60s, lower 70s, low to mid 80s in the heart of the basin and also the Rio Grande. Heating up in the high 80s, 90s and triple digits. Still likely not reaching the triple digits from Marfa to Alpine and also in the Guadalupe Pass. I think we'll actually get above 100 today in Van Horn. That's why they're under a heat advisory. Hotter and drier in northeastern areas of the basin for much of the afternoon, right around 102 this afternoon. A pretty good pool day for most of the day, but we will be seeing some cloud development. Otherwise, generally partly to mostly sunny. Make sure you guys have the sunglasses because it, there will be plenty of sunshine throughout the day, 101 by 5 p.m. But when thunder roars go indoors, there is that chance of thunderstorms later today from northwest to southeast parts of the basin developing initially in the Davis Mountains, then trying to move from near Hobbs to Andrews and Seminole. Likely not reaching Midland and Odessa, but we'll see some cloud development and maybe we can hear some of that thunder nearby and see those thunderstorm clouds north and west of the tall city later today. Most of clear skies we'll see overnight low temperatures in the 80s winds dying down from the south southeast at 5 to 15 miles per hour. As I mentioned, it will be humid. Suddenly, Ishley winds providing that the higher the dew point temperatures, the more humid the air. Dew point temperatures climbing in the Low to mid 60s within the next few hours, already in the lower 60s. So becoming more humid this morning before drying out. See those green circles? That is where we could be seeing the increasing chances for rainfall. And we see that increasing chance for rainfall with uh, increasing dew point temperatures later today. But we will be drying out this weekend. Sunshine across the board, 103 tomorrow, 105 on Sunday with drier air, elevating the risk for fire weather. Sunnier and hotter, not just this weekend, but especially as we head through much of next week.